This usually be the food of the fire. Fire! 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 Hey there, everybody. It is week 10 of 2018, and this week started off on Saturday with some more absent-mindedness when it came to loading the bar. This week, it was on the bench, and I was supposed to do 242 half. I loaded the bar to 245 because apparently I can't read, and it, even though that's only 2.5 pounds, that did seem to make a significant difference because during my six sets of two on the fifth set, I think it was, I ended up missing the second rep and ended up finishing the workout with singles. And just the thing there is that when you're doing high frequency, really can't be going ultra intense like failure, and that's not really a good idea. And this right here is the first set. I can't believe I got another three sets before I actually wiped out. That's pretty impressive, actually. Anyway, moving on to Sunday, uh, I moved the bench weight back down to the expected 242 half. But after doing my one set of two, I realized, yeah, I need to cut down the reps on this. It's time to move to singles instead of doubles if I'm going to keep moving the weight up. But in a bit of good news, the hip slash lower back was fully on board with the Sunday workout this week, unlike last week. So we hit up three sets of five, 265 on the volume squats, and followed that up with conventional deadlifts, four sets of five with 225, and the hip was no problem, baby, yeah. So that's the good news, but now for the bad news. I got something seriously wrong with my left arm. It's like in the bicep area, it is discolored. <laughs> that's not good because I didn't hit it on anything. And I got some excruciating pain when I get my arm into certain positions and apply force. So that's no bueno. I actually suspect it is a slight tear of either the bicep itself or the bicep tendon. What's somewhat interesting, though, is that the pain is actually dictated by the position of my hand. So, for example, if I have my palm up, I can actually work my arm through a full range of motion with no pain. I haven't actually tried that with weight, but I may do that soon. But the problem is, is if I have my palm down and then try to work my arm through the full range of motion, I can only get, like, halfway up before the pain kicks in, and I'd call it, like, a 7 or an 8. I was like, oh, mother, that hurts! In a bit of good fortune, it is my left arm, which is my non-dominant arm. However, you don't really realize just how much you use these things until they're injured. Let me give you an example. Putting on and taking off pants. If you think of the position your hands are in, it's basically palm down, and then you're bending your elbow as you move the pants up and down, right? That is excruciatingly painful. <laughs> and so I have to figure out how to take my pants on and off, basically while keeping my left arm completely straight. So the first thing that comes to mind is that it looks like chin-ups are possibly out, although I am going to do a test with an underhand grip because that would be like palm up, flexing the elbow, which I don't seem to have a problem with, but that might be too much weight. We'll see. And the other thing that is really bad is I think bench is going to have to be out, at least for next week. I noticed that I've been having some pain on bench through the past couple of weeks, but not enough to slow down, and I think do think that incline is okay because I did incline on Thursday, the day that it was really in pain, and that seemed to go okay. And that's a huge bummer too because I crushed this week's 3x5 bench, 222 half. This is actually the third set, and I am basically throwing the bar. I'm like, yeah, mother. You can see at the end of this set, I was pretty psyched because I had my music blasting and crushed the set, and I was like, yeah, that deserves a fist pump, yeah. And we're at Wednesday, which is probably the day that will live in infamy. Because normally I say, it's hump day! Oh yeah! This time I gotta say, oh no! Because I think this is when the bad stuff happened. Even though I didn't really feel it until I woke up on Thursday. But anyway, got a good squat in of 340. And then moved on to deadlifts. And since the hip slash lower back was feeling better, went ahead and put 315 on. And did two sets of doubles. And it went well. I didn't feel any... Uh, problems here, but it may have been a bit too much because I hadn't done it in quite a few weeks. And something I was thinking about after the injury set in was like, oh yeah, basic physics tells us that torque 
is equal to the length of the lever times the force at the end of the lever. So that means when you're shoveling snow, what your muscles are actually feeling is the weight of the snow times the length of the shovel. So it's a lot more than just the weight of the snow. And that's a problem because I don't know if you guys know me. When I go out to shovel, it's not to just clear off the path in the driveway and such. It's actually to throw as much snow as I possibly can and have a grand old time, just like when I was a kid in Buffalo. And so, going forward into next week, like I said, we're going to have to see just what I am capable of doing because as with the hip problem, I do believe that movement is medicine. However, I do need to be really careful here because, like I said, I do think I have some kind of tear. Probably not super severe simply because the discoloration right now is about the size of a half dollar right on the bottom of my left bicep. And I've seen pictures from, you know, the powerlifting game for people who have severely torn stuff like pecs and biceps, etc. And if it's really bad, it's like the entire arm slash chest is super discolored. So I'm hoping that it's not too bad. And the volume update for the week, yeah, actually, uh, going up to heavier deadlifts actually knocked the volume down just a touch, but another good week in the books. And 2018 goals update, yeah, you know, no injuries, that's really not going well this year, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at least before that happened, we got a new 3x5 bench of 222 and a new 3x5 OHP of 127. 12k chin-ups were at 2748, hope that can still move up next week, but we'll see. And for the 8 million pounds challenge, we're currently at 1.68 million. And last but not least, diet data screen. Yeah, the body weight up 1.1 pounds this week to 143.93. But if you recall, last week the body weight was skewed downward due to some lasting effects of my fast for my procedure. And yeah, uh, I hope I'm going to see you next week. We'll kind of see what happens and play it by ear. But till then, take care. Bye.